You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. The dentist said no, they could tell because of the slight bruising at the back of the throat. Oh, hello. You're watching Chewing the Cud, your light-hearted weekly look through a very glittery kaleidoscope. I'm Mike Benyon Rowe, and with me today is the joy to behold that is Lee Robertson. Right. Right. What, what? This is a lovely little tie that you've clipped onto your outfit. It's, it's very small and <laughs> delicate, like myself. OK, and what have you got for us this week? I'm going to be bringing you some news about a new television programme, a rebooted television programme and another television programme that I can't remember. Um, and then we get all artsy in Crafty Queens. Uh, we even have a game you can play along with too. But on screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cud TV on social media. And if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube. Just look for Chewing the Cud. You can see the names of people who've reached out and touched our souls go along the bottom of the screen as Mike gets ready to bring us up to date with things that you have missed from the news in the buzz. <laughs> It's been a while since you've dated. Yeah, because I'm in a long-term relationship. Don't want to, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll put that down people's throats. <laughs> <laughs> Forcing your relationships down other people's throats. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, do you remember remember when you used to go on dates? Did you ever go for a meal? No. You're just about dogging, weren't you? No, I never really did the meal thing. What did you do? What was your your idea of a good first date? Hand job at the back of a cinema. That has happened. <laughs> um, just, you know, I like to be what able... What movie was it to? It could be something wildly inappropriate, it wasn't, it? it? wasn't The Ring, because <laughs> that would have been very funny, but I was terrified and had my coat out of my head for the entire duration of the film, uh -huh. just looking through the armhole. Um, <laughs> it wasn't S Club 7 seeing double, because there was children there. Um, <laughs> I think it was Connie and Carla, which is a good film. Better when you're having a hand job. Okay, cool. Um, well, this is a story about a Brazilian model. A model? A model from Brazil. A male model or a female model? A female model, model also done Playboy. Oh, okay. Uh, called a Viusa Freyas. Okay. She's 32, and she went on a date with someone who halfway through the date stood up and left. Oh. Because she did something weird. Did she shit herself? She's not you. She withdrew. <laughs> she withdrew something from her bag, and plopped it on the table. And the guy went, "No, nah, I'm out. Can't deal with that." And walked out. What do you think that was? A pocket of polos. Yeah, it was disgusted by a pocket of polos. <laughs> no, it was actually disgusted the fact that she'd brought her own lunch. Okay. To her first date at a restaurant. And the reason was she said that uh, when she's on uh, any sort of gigs and she's modelling and things, she's on a very strict diet before. And she wanted to go on a date with the guy, but also didn't want to risk the diet. So she wasn't able to eat anything. She had to be very careful what she was eating. So she pulled out her, her lunch, popped it down, and he went, no, nah, that's just weird, and walked out. I mean, that's a bit harsh. That's a bit weird. Um, I mean, it's not the most... It's not the... That is unusual, getting your food out, mm -hmm. without prior saying it to somebody, no. saying, I'm going to come with you. But bring my own food. Bring my own food because I need to look ripped for my photo shoot. Mm -hmm. And then go, oh, okay. But then to get up and just walk off is a bit weird. Yeah. What was she eating? Food. Um, so what? she she said she was there alone, feeling a bit shocked and dejected. Alone. Alone. Ah, oh, right. But, but after... she got tits out and everything was okay. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but she's had a conversation with the guy afterwards and they've gone on, on dates afterwards. Okay. So he got over it. Right. Do we have a picture of him? No. Well, I'm not interested then. Next one. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Moving on, since, since <laughs> Lee didn't get to see a picture of his penis. Um, networking applications grinder. Yeah. You are aware of its work. I'm aware of its existence. I've never um, perused its um, musky halls. Musky what? Holes. Oh, holes. I thought you said holes. No. <laughs> I like you. Um, well, it's this story about... Um, they've come out with their, their annual... Like, what grind is about. So they look at... Dick and cock. Dick and cock. Just sucking dick and cock. It's like the different things. Well, they're all related. They're the same thing. A dick and a cock is the same thing. Not always. 
When, when are they not? I can't say, mate. <laughs> Dug myself into a hole. Like, oh, <laughs> um, but they've released some of their insights from the application. Okay. Okay. Um, one of the big things is that Troy Savan... Yeah. Uh, is it is, massive? No. Is one of the people most quoted on Grinder profiles. What, like his music? His music lyrics. Okay. Yeah. Um, they call it the Unwrapped Report. They've said that Mother of the Year was Beyonce. Mother of the Year? yeah. yeah. What, what are you talking? I don't understand a word you're saying. What, 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 are, you, what are you going on about? Why? Is she, what about? Why? She's not their mother. <laughs> not actual mother, but you're like mother. I don't. No, I don't get it. You don't get it. What's mother? Is it's that like, when the drag queens go? Ma! Yeah. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> what a world we live in. What a world. What? A, what a what thing. A world. Okay. Um, and if you ever to go to Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, then you should never go on ground because. Uh, mostly tops. Okay. So you've booked, <laughs> you've booked a long haul flight there. A long haul what? Flight. Oh, flight, yes. I have gone. Uh, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago, I'm here. Like stampede noise. <laughs> All the tops. Power tops. Yeah. Bend over and you hear the flapping. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, what, a, what, a, what an insightful <laughs> and informative uh, survey that appeared to be. I'm not finished. Oh, have you not? <laughs> no, I'm not finished. Oh, you're just going on about it. Okay, <laughs> go on. on. Right, fine, I'll shut up then. No, go on, no, tell no, me no. the rest of it. Tell no, me no. what they said. It's, it's perfectly fine. If you And if you, um, likely, don't give a flying monkeys, you can always share that with us at the Could TV on social media. Now, uh, you're not going to like this story. Well, judging by the two that have gone before it, chances are high. <laughs> chances are high, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, how do you feel about snakes? Um, no, I don't like them on a plane. Okay. Um, That's a very niche movie reference. I, um, I, I, you know, they are part of, um, nature and stuff. <laughs> I don't like, um, I don't like anacondas. Okay. Because they're very large. They are very large. To eat people whole. They can eat people whole. That's about it, really. Okay. I'm glad that you said that, because this is a story about a gentleman called Paul Rosalie, mm. eh, who wanted to raise money for the rainforest. The rainforest. For the rainforest, to help preserve it. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so he thought the best way of doing that was to get himself eaten by a 20-foot, 18 stone anaconda. Did he know that he wouldn't come out of it again? Well, he, he thought he was going to. Okay. Did he? <laughs> This isn't an elaborate suicide attack. Is he a bit clever? He's actually a, um, a biologist. He's a biologist. Who, who looks after snakes and he's in the rainforest. Um, what did he think he was going to do? Did he think he was going like, to get in there and then like, tickle its tonsils and then it would spit him out? No. Um, he had a specially designed carbon fibre suit. Of course he did. Right? An oxygen tank. Yes. Right? He smothered himself in pig's blood. Nice. And walked around on all fours. Waiting for a vagina anaconda. Well, he'd already found the anaconda. Oh, he'd found it. Yeah, he, was a, he acted like a pig so that it would pounce. Acted like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> in a full body suit. Acted Dressed like a as pig. a pig? No, no, no. no. Well, then. Dressed as, he was in a carbon fibre suit. That wasn't pig shaped. Wasn't pig shaped. He was just walking around in pig's blood. Okay. Right? The anaconda struck, wrapped its body around him, and you could hear... His bones. Cr crushing. Crack I've seen anaconda. I know yeah. what happens. Um... Basically, his in, his plan was to be eaten by the anaconda, and did get eaten by the anaconda. But he was dead. Worse, he put his head. He in. was worse. It was worse. Worse than dead. Worse than dead. Did it bum him? <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen tentacle porn. That's what <laughs> happened here. An anaconda invaded his back passage <laughs> through the suit. <sighs> um, no, as he was head first inside the anaconda. Mm. It's mouth. In, in its mouth, yeah. Um, going down, he went, oh, it's very dark in here. I never brought a torch. <laughs> Fired up his lighter. No, he didn't. <laughs> he's like, Put his he's phone there, on. Beep. Can you smell something cooking? Um, basically, could feel his bones cracking as he was being swallowed and realised that he wasn't going to survive. So gave the, the emergency call of, I need help. <laughs> From inside the like, snake. Yeah. So his 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 research team. It's like people wandering past and going, what's what's that noise? What's that what's that snake? Going, mew, 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 mew. 
Was it sides bulging? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just the neck. Um, but his, his team were there to help him and, and yanked him out of the, his the snake's team. mouth. Yeah. But he realised after doing that, he probably would have died. Is he, yeah, is he alive? He's alive. Does he have all crushed bones now? He's not very well at the minute. Is he not very, not well? very well at the minute? Is he a little bit crushed? He's a little bit sore. What? <sighs> if he's a biologist, uh -huh. surely. He thought that the suit was going to protect him. From being squeezed? Yeah, because he thought it was going to be strong enough that it would get tight and so it wouldn't be able to squeeze anymore. Is so he a bit stupid? Out. He's very clever. No, he's not. Not much common sense, but he's very clever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But he got to he got to raise some money for, for the protection of the rainforest. But then had to spend it all on his hospital fees. Because <laughs> he was crushed to, from inside. It was just a pulp. A, a skin bag full of pulp. Skin bag full of pulp. That's your title. I was going to go a bit like a wall up, but that's all from the buzz this week. Thanks, Mike. That's disturbing and arousing. a little bit arousing. <laughs> that is a little bit arousing. <laughs> Seriously, you can see Lee's eyeing up the tissues as we're sat here. Right, uh, but you're welcome. Stay right there. It's coming after this short break is Lee with the showbiz news. Welcome back, and you're watching Chewing the Cud. This is the part of the show where we look into the sparkly side of the world of celebrity with Lee in the showbiz. Are you a fan of Trixie Mattel? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. No, I prefer it when they're not taking a break from drag. Mm, but they needed to. Why? Because they were very tired. Just go to sleep. They were doing lots of things. Makeup, mm -hmm. filming, YouTubing, lots of things. Yeah, but then, they're not doing drag now, but they're still doing all those things. They pre-recorded them all. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, Drixie Mattel has landed a role in an, as a drag football coach. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at me like that for? No. Nothing. Um, in a new gay comedy called English Teacher. Okay. Um, she's going to be starring in Brian Jordan Alvarez's new FX comedy, English Teacher, about a gay teacher navigating working in a Texas high school. Ooh. Mm. So Didn't Bianca it, already do that? What? Didn't Bianca Del Rio already do that? How do you do Bianca Del Rio? No, Bianca Del Rio. Did they not already do that? They did a film, where the, Hurricane Bianca, where they went into a Texas school as oh, themselves. Okay. And I was a drag queen at the same time. Oh, Okay. But but it's not about drag queens. Okay. The guy that plays the teacher isn't a drag queen. Okay. Tricks and Mattel has a cameo as Oh, it's just a cameo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um so here's a picture from the from the program. I, I whether it's New Will and Grace. New Will and Grace? Well they came back, didn't they? Oh yeah, that's true. I duck and I didn't watch it, so I'm not sure. So um it, he plays an English teacher named Evan Marquez, who often finds himself in the intersection of the personal, provisional and political aspect of working in a high school. OK. Mm. I think this pitch has been doctored. Well, they all have been, haven't they? Because, all... look, he's not doing any of those things. No, he's not. And they're taking pictures of him and he's over this way. And perhaps, perhaps that's on purpose. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's oh, a lie. OK. Um, so, it, basically, it's all about him being a gay teacher. Okay. And in the first episode... A teacher who is gay or a, a teacher of gays? A teacher who is gay, okay. not a teacher of gays. There may be gays in the class. I don't know. Okay. That, you know that's the promo shot. Um, basically, what kind of the setup is is that the head teacher mm -hmm. of the high school that he's in um, has a conversation with him and says, "You're under investigation because somebody saw you kiss your boyfriend." <gasps> dun dun dun. On the in a toilet. Don't know if it is. On the with their friend Frank watching. No. So apparently Tr Trixie will be possibly play a drag football coach, helping the school's football team to excel their cheer skills okay. ahead of politicised powder puff game. Hmm. Okay. So obviously that's Trixie in drag. That's Trixie out of drag. That's Brian. Um, what? That's Definitely Brian. 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 Um, and so it includes episodes with topics tackling gun violence, okay. culture wars. Um, 
Yeah, and like we said, it's unlikely that, that Triggs are going to be around to promote it because they're on a break. Mm -hmm. um, but it's going to be starting on FX, or Hulu if you've got that, uh, on the 2nd of September. Ooh. Do you have either of those? No. 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 So we won't watch it then. Okay. <laughs> Were you expecting me to share my subscription then? I think I have Hulu. Well, you can, you can let me know if it's any good. Yeah. Um, now then... Mm -hmm. News of another television program that I think will be very divisive. Okay. Mm. So the Gay Golden Girls TV show is coming. Love it. Already, you don't even right. know who's in it or what's it about. You've you stuck Golden Girls next to something. It's going to be brilliant. Give well, apparently, it it's a show about gay gentlemen of a certain age, and it's by Ryan Murphy, who has track record for doing good TV shows. Um, and it's by the way, creators of Will and Grace. Okay. Um, and it will be saying Palm Springs. Now they work. So Palm Springs, I think, in America, is a well-known gay oh, place, like a retirement place. Um, so it's going to be starring Matt Bomer or Bomber. How do we say that? <laughs> Boomer, Bomber, Bomber, Booba, Bee Bee Boo. One of those. Matt. Matt. Well, um, Matt. And uh, Nathan Lane. Obviously, that is that is the original, the OG Golden Girls. No longer with us. No longer. No, they've all gone now. They've they? all gone now because Betty White couldn't be bothered anymore. She thought, I'm not going to go to 100. I'm going now. I want to die young, I believe the phrase. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the, the, the cast. Um, okay. So we've got Matt Bomber. Uh-huh. Nathan Lane. I love Nathan Lane. Mm -hmm. Absolutely hilarious. Nathan Lee Graham. Uh-huh. And Linda Lavin. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it, the, the, um, the, the syn synopsis uh -huh. is... Um, about they're kind of like he goes to look after his mum because she's kind of retirement age and just retirement age because Sophia was very unwell. Three best friends, okay. gay men, who after an unexpected death decide to spend their golden years living together in Palm Springs, where the wealthiest one lives with his mother, okay, and a naked Gen Z housekeeper. Oh. I'm definitely more interested. Oh. So, but, but Matt Bomber's not very old. He's like mid-30s. Maybe, maybe he's the Gen Z housekeeper. Oh, he could be. Oh. Now I'm interested. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, that is coming. There's um, all over the screens. Yeah. <laughs> that. There's no... Coming sorry. to a screen near you. Coming all over a screen near you. It's not... No date yet. I think they've not said it's not sometime 2025. Something along the lines. It looks like they're obviously filming it now. Oh, the gallery said Matt Boomer is 46. That's no age, is it? No, you're right. It's very young. Very young 46. It is. It is indeed. Almost fetal. It is. Oh, I'm younger than that. Oh, OK. Right. Let's go on to the last bit of television showbiz news. OK. Uh, were you a fan of um, The Simple Life? With um, Paris Hilton and Nicole Ritchie back Somet in the day. Sometimes I think I'm, I'm living the simple life. Oh, that's hard. Um, <laughs> no, that's hard. Uh, um, so the simple life was uh -huh. like a massive hit back in the sort of like early noughties with Paris Hilton and Nicole Ritchie travelling around America, trying different jobs, um, living with different families, uh -huh. it was it was scripted, unscripted. There's a there's a picture of 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 the promo for the original um, one. Um, apparently, they are reuniting. Okay. To do it again. Did um, they not have a massive falling out? Well, that's it. They hated each other. They literally didn't speak to each other for like twenty years. Um, but apparently, probably the ching. Yeah, because they're, they're both skin, aren't they? Um, that's actual footage of... So the, it seems that one of the scenarios is they're, they're sent to work in a burger place. Or, or a hot dog place. Or they're off to be a small blue hedgehog collecting rings. Could well be. I'm wondering what that is clipped to her JJ. That looks like a phone. A phone? Oh. Um, so, yeah, working. they they posted stuff on social media... Um, so they they started singing that they used to do this song called Sana -sa, Sana -sa, all the time. So they're singing that, um, and then it says they're back. Yeah, it says new era, same besties coming soon to Peacock. I don't know how I feel about it. Should we let things that happened in the past stay in the past? 
it was a little bit unpleasant, I have to say. They they took the mick out of other people. They did. Who then... didn't really know that it was a joke. Um, yeah. But what I loved is they always got the comeuppance at the end. Mm. They, they fell out with each other. Well, yes. Big style. Yeah. yeah. Um, apparently, Paris Hilton's reflected on a simple life experience, saying it was so much fun, but she was too busy at the time focusing on all her businesses. All her businesses. Um, sex tape was... Wow. Sex tapes. Um, and that cooking show where she made French toast. Mm-hmm. Not the way I make it, but whatever. Um, you don't make French toast. <laughs> <laughs> she put cornflakes on it, Mike. What, what's French toast, Lee? Bread. Uh huh. Buttered. Yeah. With jam. Uh-huh. Toasted. That's French toast. <sighs> and uh, Nicole Richie has been having children. She's married to um, one of the her husband. She's married to a husband who is Joel Madden, who is out of that that um, sort of noughties punk pop band. What were they called? Twins. Twins? They were twins, twin brothers. In it. In the band. Okay. Wore like lots of black eye makeup. Can't remember a song they sung. Not my genre. My chemical romance? No, don't be stupid. Green Day. No. Blink one eight two. No. No, no. no, I don't know. Anyway. Again? No, I was singing a different song. I was singing all the small things, that's not theirs. Um so apparently it's been started. Um it's been managed by James Corden. Ooh. Oh, um so yeah. It and it's going to be um purchased advance on streaming platforms. Ooh. That's not hot. James Corden, isn't it? I know. Ooh. Might be a car train. Car train? Car train? Oh no, you don't want it to be a car don't train. Don't want to be a car train. Oh, oh. Anyway, that's the end of the showbiz news for this week. So I've just had it in my ear. Walking that, down the road. That's what they sang. That the um <laughs> it wasn't. It was good Charlotte. Yes. Yes. Girls don't like boys, girls like cars and money. That's I don't know. I don't know them. But yeah, so glad you're in charge of the show biz. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Don't go anywhere, as coming up next, we are going to play our game in our game of the week. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud with me, Mike Benyon-Row, and them, Lee Robertson. Now, this is the part of the show where we get to play a little game, but before we do, someone has brought something into the studio. Haven't they, Lee? It's, it's very, very, very special. What the f- is this monstrosity? Isn't that... Hideous. Spectacular. And do you know what? On camera, it looks even, even more tackier. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why is it so? What have you done to this elephant? We have, we have, um, we have. No, no, no. You have. There's no. There's nothing to do with me about this. I have. Um, uh-huh. I have gay prided it. It is. It is a pink elephant. Uh huh. Because quite often, somebody's sexuality is a pink elephant in the room. You see what I did there? And then touching its scrolls is what you. And then I painted the gay pride flag on its ears and on its face. I, I I'm very impressed with your. Progress Pride flag on the ear because it's not a flat surface. And I, I know, I, uh, you know. And the rest of it looks shocking. But I was quite impressed with the, the, the circle and stuff. You've done quite well there. Thank you. The rest of it, car Trying crash. Driving bitch. Yeah, and wooden flowers. They're from Holland, actual Holland. Not real, obviously. So, so is cheese, but you don't see me putting in a vase. Cheese flowers. <laughs> What's it? It's plastic. It's made out of resin. It looks horrible from the back. What? It looks like um, <laughs> looks like an old woman's gusset. <laughs> the texture of the scrotum. It is. It texture is giving scrotum. you scrotum realness. Um, elephant scrotum. Oh. I can taste that one too. Yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to we're going to get rid of that. Well, if anybody wants one, just get in touch. Get in touch. Just you know. Send me a This DM. is as bad as your pebbles. Send me a DM. This is as bad as your pebbles. And and I'll happily make you one. For a price, obviously. Yeah, you and the pebbles as well. Shush! There are a number in this very building. Uh-huh. Well, nobody wants them. But it's time to play our game. And this is one for our favourite ASOS sale marauder. That's Lee. ASOS sale what? Marauder. Marauder. Yeah, person that goes rummaging through the sale rack for ASOS. Okay. Off you pop. Oh, right, okay. Game of the Week. 
So this week, Lee is going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. I might as well play along with him. Are you ready, Lee? Yeah. Do you want to spin the roulette, see what you get? Just going to say that um, instead of sports, uh-huh. it, it will be general knowledge. Okay. Um, and instead of... Um, yeah. There's another one, but I can't... Because I've got music, got movies. General knowledge... Sports will be history, Mike, just to kind of say. So sports will be history? Yeah. That's the only substitution we've got. Yes! Okay. Oh, what a coinky dink It's landed on sport. Okay. Which is history. Which Roman emperor ordered the construction of a 73-mile-long wall which separated England from Scotland? Here's the interesting thing. The question you're going to be looking for the answer for is the word Hadrian, but it's not true. Hadrian connected up some existing fortifications. So are the answer? You're you're going to say the answer is Hadrian. What are the answer you're going to say? There isn't one person that built the wall because it was built by successive people. Oh, it's been a, it's been like that, isn't it? Um, he right. ordered it. He didn't build it. He ordered it. He was on Amazon and went, Ooh, Oh, I can get, I can get a 74 mile wall. Oh, that's good. Oh, next day delivery. Oh. So it says Emperor Hadrian. Yeah. But you don't, you're not happy with that. I'm not happy with that, but it's the answer we'll accept, so we'll move on. Okay. Geek. Hand modelling. Uh huh. You don't get paid for hand modelling, do you? Oh, general knowledge. Okay. Um, Levi's jeans are synonymous, synonymous, <laughs> synonymous. Synonymous with the US, but from which country does its founder, Levau Streis, originate? Austria. No. Germany. Yeah. It was one of them. Hmm. What kind of jeans do you prefer, Mike? You prefer a loose cut, a boot cut, a stonewash? <laughs> You're going to make comment the fact that I have some skinny jeans on. <laughs> A pair of jeggings. <laughs> okay, let's spin. <laughs> Wait, Lee, Lee picked up a pair of my jeans before I went. Does that say slim? I think it said skinny fit. It didn't say skinny, it said slim fit. I can't wear skinny jeans. Movies. Oh, okay. Um, Is it porn? No. Oh. Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp have both played... Which caricatar? Caricatar. 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 And also, if we're going very modern, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. Timothy. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Timothy shampoo. Timothy shampoo. Oh dear. <laughs> Willy Wonka. It's right. Yay. Is this in the new Willy Wonka film with Timothee Shampoo? Yeah, there is. It was filmed in Bath. I didn't watch it. No. I didn't care for it. Ah, is it because he's a twink? Who? Timothy Thingy Bobby Doodle. Because he's a what? A twink. A twink. Um, no, it just gives me just gives me bad vibes. Yeah, it just gives me icky vibes. Icky vibes. I'm going to give loads of people in college syphilis or something like that. I mean, I'd fact check that before you put it out there, but, you know, whatever. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Can we just spin the wheel then before we get any further? Okay. That was a big spin. You know, you don't need to give it as much oomph as you were giving it. Oh, it's back on the movies. Okay. Um, Okay. Which former Calvin Klein model played the male lead role in Fifty Shades of Grey? No idea. Uh, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Lee Dornan. Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, no, it was Jamie Dornan. 
don't know who that is. I don't know either. Um, it wasn't a film for the homosexuals, was it really, that? It was for, well, the, it was for the ladies of a certain age. So did you watch it then, Lee? No. Oh, my goodness. It is the movies again. Um, the sale of Ray-Ban aviator glasses jumped 40% after the release of which 1986 movie? It's the one with the poison dwarf in it, shot um, Top Gun. With the poisoned dwarf in it? Poisoned dwarf. Who's the poisoned dwarf? Tom Cruise. You said it, not me. <gasps> he, was, he was very handsome back then. Yeah. Not so much now. Um, it was it Top Gun. Awful. It was indeed Top Gun. Yeah. Mm. They had a very homoerotic scene in that, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, when they were playing... Um, what's the, the thing when they... Volleyball. volleyball. Is it volleyball? Beach ball? And they were Beach all... Beach ball's a thing, isn't it? No, the, the, is it when they have a net and a ball and volleyball. they volleyball, volleyball, and they were all um, they were all topless. Check it out, kids. Hey, that's homoerotic because they had no top on. Well, it was filmed in a kind of a homo. homo I'm getting very excited. I can't get my word. I say, um, just because you wank to it doesn't mean it's homoerotic. <laughs> and then Will Young um, recreated it in uh, one of his videos. He did. Do you he remember did. Which video it was. Um, no. Spaff on my chest? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Like the wheels of life. What did we say sport was? History. Okay. During the Cold War, what landmark symbolised... <laughs> symbolised the Iron Curtain? Not the beef curtain. Oh, it wasn't beef curtains. No. I think I've lost the um, I've lost the gallery. Yeah. But um, so yeah. Wh while I get obscenities sworn at me from the gallery, um, stick around because coming up next we have Lee and Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to get ready as Lee gets us all creative in Crafty Queens. Mike? Yes? Do you ever get angry? Only when I breathe. Do you ever get frustrated? Oh, I just have a wank if I'm frustrated. Well, today we're going to make something to help combat both of those things. Left um, right. We're... we're <laughs> We're going to be making um, a glitter shaker. I think we might have done it before, but I've elevated it this okay. time. AKA you're doing the same shit, wouldn't you? Yeah. So um, I have provided you with a, with a plastic jar bottle. Uh -huh. You have yeah. indeed. I have with already. In it. I have. I have. I have put. I've inserted. Love juice. Love juice. Is this spittle? Have you bit? Spittle, phlegm, sputum. No, it is. Um, <laughs> It is Elmer's clear glue. Other glues are available. Um, oh, I was drinking it because I thought it was spittle. No, you must not do that. Uh, because we need we need the liquid to be slightly viscous. Okay. Um, in inside, but you also need to add other things to it as well. Okay. So you've got a little little um, little jar of glycerin. Ooh. Um, I like and, glycerin. Um, you need to to pop the whole bottle in there. Whole bottle. Whole bottle in your jar. Blub. Glub, glub. I don't really know what they use glycerin for. Icing. So, you put your glycerin in. What we're going to do is we're going to add um, some glitter, surprisingly. Uh-huh. Um, so, I've selected my colours. Um, various shades of um, peach blush. Okay. Um, and um, you're going to put a cap, what, just one cap full. I have gold, colour. blue and black glitter. Oh, how mask. Yeah, glitter mask. Is that um is that is that those colours a particular you know indication? They do. Do they? Yeah. Okay, what do they mean then? It, it means that I'm putting glitter into okay. glycerin again. Right. So it doesn't mean you, that if you wore a green handkerchief, it means what thing? 
Yeah, okay. Do, do, do. Oh, how pretty is that? So, a capful, you said? Just a capful. This feels like a lot of glitter. Oh, we're gonna add we're gonna add water to dilute it. Dilute glitter. Yeah. And pour it. Ooh. Okay. I have dumped in three caps. You're very quick. Of all three colours. All th one of each, yeah. Well, I'm I'm just being a little more careful, Mike. I'm just being a little bit more um, conscientious. I get to mix it up yet? Not yet. Just you know, you know you've got two colours that are very similar there. And you see, now look what you did. I wasn't doing anything. You made anything. me spill it because you were jibber-jabbering on. So you want me to be silent when you're touching glitter? There, right. They are similar, yet very subtle. I've also provided you with some tiny little things to put inside. So you've got some very little ducks. I have got some little ducks. They glow in the dark. And a little, they do. like a little rock face thing. Okay, just pop them in. Little person. And some little hearts. Yeah, just pop them in. Just chuck them in. Bloop. These little stone things. Yeah. Why are they not painted ugly colours and being left around places? Because they're too small, Mike. Okay. And I, and I, and, and I'm going to have to say that my, pe my painted pebbles bring joy. To, to the literally to ones the, of people to the county. So literally just, ones of people enjoy your pebbles. You can shut your face. Um, right. So <laughs> now you've got all your bits and pieces inside the jar. Yeah. You're going to add some warm water, which I've provided in a, um, a a tin. It's tepid. It's tepid. Yeah. Now you have to be a bit careful with this because why? You don't want to spill it. I don't spill the water. No. Why not? It'll electrocute itself with all the electric. Okay. That's in the room. Now, you need to kind of fill it, not right to the very top, but just to... To the rim? The rim. Okay. okay. Now, we're not going to shake it quite just yet, because we're going to add some more added stimulus to it. So, I have provided you with... Oh, Mr. Right. Heart. Never mind. Um, I have provided you with... Oh, were the heart supposed to go in as well? Yay. Oh. Have you not done it? No. I've got the duck is in and the little stony thing is in. Amateur. So I have provided you. This is a sensory strip. If you feel it, it has a has a sort of a grainy texture. It does have a grainy texture. It does, doesn't it, Mike? You're not touching it. I am. Where have you put it? I said it was sensory. You don't. You don't. Oh, okay. Anyway, you need to put it's it's self adhesive, so you just need to peel the. Does just a little need, adhesive. Does it not need a little bit of adhesive? Yeah. Just a little adhesive. Right. Um, okay. You're gonna stick that on the front. I'm sticking this on the front, like a, like a band. Yeah. Because the idea is that that feeling that with your little fingertips, <laughs> um, <laughs> is actually quite calming. Scientifically um, proven that, or just... Yep, scientifically proven. Bullshit you're just spouting. By me. Yeah. Um, and then, the last bit, before we give it a good old shake, uh -huh. I have provided you with a little squishy ocelot. No? No axolotl? Axolotl, that's it. Um, and... <laughs> What's happening? Oh, it stuck to me. Um, now, we... Where is it gone? Um, you don't. You can glue these to the top of your jar if you want to. Aye. Um, but some people prefer to like have them removable so that they can just squeeze them separately. Um, so I've provided you with um, some Velcro stickers. Okay. So you want to put um, one of them on top of the lid, like that, and then the other one on the bottom of the axolotl. Did you axolotls know? Axolotls turn into salamanders, don't they? They do, if you add iodine to the water. If you add what? Iodine. Oh. So that's like a little beacon squish there, because it's like squishy, it goes... Now, yeah. you can shake it all up now, Mike. It's like a really shit bottle of matey bubble bath. No, it's not. And it will all mix together and... 
<laughs> Sorry, what did you just what noise did you just make there, Lee? I think I went. <laughs> oh, okay. and there you've got lots of sweat. So the idea is when you're feeling a little bit tense, um just take the lid off and sit your cock in it. And um there you go. No, you don't do that. Oh, that is relaxing. Oh! Right. Oh. You just look at it. Just shake it, look at it. Shake it. Shake it and look at it. It's like it's like the corners of my mind. We've made a we've made a lovely mess. Therapeutic glitter jar. Okay. Remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, be a crafty queen. Or stick your cock in some glitter jars. So I've got glitter in a jar, mm -hmm. semi-suspended in water. With with um glue and, and glue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how is that going to relax me? Because um you just shake it and then when it's swirling around, uh -huh. um you imagine that it's calming you down. You imagine it's calming you down. <laughs> so it doesn't actually calm you down, just imagine it's calming you down. <laughs> and um the little glow in the dark things uh -huh. will glow in the dark <laughs> um if you're feeling stressed at night in bed with no lights on. <laughs> um but yeah, I, the gallery have been talking to me. Um, about food. What about now? They have got this thing about Marmite at the minute. No. And Marmite puffs. Don't like them. <laughs> you don't like them? <laughs> this is not a flashback to primary school. Oh, they're, they're very strong. I don't like Marmite. I have a smell. Oh! <laughs> what is Marmite? What, what is it? What is Marmite? Yeast. What is yeast? <laughs> what is yeast? It's a small organism. Um, which is just where you go, uh, a little bit. Um... <laughs> Oh, it's an, okay. Oh. Um, so Marmite... Is it beef? No, it, it's yeast. So, the thing that they use to make beer and wine and loveliness is... What's made out of beef? What's that spread that's made out of beef? Bovril. Bovril. I don't like that either. What do Australians eat that's made out of beef? Vegemite. Vegemite. That's made out of yeast as well. Is it? That's Australian Marmite. Okay. They're very salty. They're just a bit salty. Marmite. Could they add a bit more salt? I don't think they could. They tried. It's very salty. No. I've had salty things in my mouth, but that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember that you can still find us on social media, at The Could TV. And if you want to catch up with what we're doing on previous episodes, you can always find us on YouTube. Just look for Chewing The Could. Are you all right? You're having a bone? I just had a, I got a pocket of flavour just at the side of my... It <laughs> made me do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we will see you again next week. Week. Bye. Bye. I'm not. I'm not sure.